I'm like testing the light right now and I feel like, I feel so nauseous. Maybe this can be helped by putting a lip color on, yeah? It's also, the lighting is not testing out right. It's like yellowy white. Oh. Okay, so the magic of a little bit of lip color and I even added blush because I just felt, you know what it is? You know like that time period right before you're gonna get your period and you're like, just depending on what it is. Like in my 20s, I never had like symptoms. I just always felt like a little tired. But now it's like, it's like my boobs, it's like my lower back. It's like, it's like different every time. So this time it's like this combination of like, I'm really gonna throw up and I really want a diarrhea, but neither of those things are happening. It's just that intense feeling all the time. And you're like, no, I don't need to go to the bathroom. I'm just feeling a certain way, but I actually feel really nauseous right now and I don't know if it's that whole thing or if it's like food I ate today. <sighs> I don't know. Okay, well, probably should dye our hair soon. Do you guys see this root? I can't even show you on camera how much of my hair is white. I'm probably more than half like white hairs. Okay, good molecule, silicone free priming moisturizer. Still using this. Probably gonna use it all the way through winter and then try using it alone without any skincare under it. Once the weather changes, I really like it. For the base, it's the Dior Forever Skin Correct. This is made to be like a foundation and a concealer and a corrector, I guess. I have mine in the shade 2N. It is generally the shade I go for in Dior base products. I have it on as under eye concealer as well as foundation. And I guess I could go a shade, like half a shade, maybe I could do 1.5N for the under eyes if I want it to be brighter, but I mean, for now I'm like okay with this. It's kind of like all one color. It's also probably because I feel like I'm gonna throw up, but <laughs> I, I really like this. It's very pretty. I think it's a very, I think it's a very dewy finish. Um, and I have like normal to dry skin. It looks very dewy. I do have powder on. It's the Makeup Forever. I have mine in the shade Y235 and I powdered uh, just like, you know, around here, forehead, T-zone. And I think it looks good. Did I powder the under eyes? I don't think so because I'm not going anywhere today. I'm just like, even if I don't go anywhere, I still do my makeup most of the time because I love doing my makeup. I feel like a lot of you guys would relate to this where it's just like, it's very meditative. It's like this like time where you're like not thinking about anything, you know, like I put on YouTube videos or I put on shows. I'm more so watching Hulu because I think a lot of times when things have commercials, I'm like not as like into watching it. So I will just have it on while I'm doing my makeup. That way I'm like not distracted by the commercials, but I'm still watching the show. It's also a good time to watch shows that I want to be into because I'm more like focused. Whereas if I'm watching TV like on my couch, I'll be like on my phone and you know, like I'm just like not really paying attention. This is a long tangent. I don't even know if you care. Uh, where was I even going with this? Oh yes, makeup. Good time. Good times in the morning. Soothing, relaxing, don't have to think about things. Like the day ahead. For bronzer, we have the medium to deep duo from Jouer. And I have, so what's in here? Sun Kissed and Sunset. So I have, this shade on, which I believe is Sunset. That's that bronzer. See how good? Like this nice brown. Not too warm, not too cool. For blush, I have this M Cosmetics in Sunset Sky. It's her little serum blushes. So cute, the packaging. I like the way it looks on my cheeks. It's very subtle. I put some on my hand and then I use the Smashbox uh, blurring brush, it's a synthetic, to bounce it on my skin. Just a swatch of it. I mean, it's barely there. Sunset sky. For highlighter, I have this Afterglow from Pure. I haven't worn like a powder highlighter in a while. This is what that looks like. This is very very pigmented. I use the Sonia G fan brush to apply it. So it's very faint on my face. I have it all the way down the nose. I know I even went for like this little area today. I don't know. We're in a different mood today. And then it's all along my cheekbones. Like 
So I think it looks really natural. I don't really see it on my skin. I think the dewiness of the base also helps to kind of, I think it absorbs more of that, like what could create texture. So yeah, I didn't powder my, this area. I powdered here and then the T-zone, I know. It's like quite specific, but it works. If you don't, if you like using powder highlighter and you don't want it to sit on top of cream and then powder and then, then you know, your powder. The eyeliner is the MAC Brush Black Brush Stroke 24 Eyeliner, so the, the darker shade. Do I look oily? Do I look greasy? I, a little bit, yeah. Or, you know what, every time I think I'm greasy and oily and then I go to edit, it actually just looks glowy, so maybe it's like how I see things in the camera. Okay, for the lips, it's M Cosmetics, her lip glosses in Faded Clementine. This was the first shade I bought. I have since purchased other shades. I love this formula so much. So they're quite pigmented. So I put them like, I dab a little on my lips, like just in the center, like kabuki style. And then I like blend it out. So if you look, the swatch is very pigmented. I don't even know how to describe this formula to you except to, to just say that I really love it. It's not intensely glossy, you know, like you're not gonna get crazy shine. And then when you buff it into your lips and tap it in, you get almost, how do you, mm, what's the word I'm looking for? Like a cloudy look, a faded look. It looks not matte, just like the natural texture of your lips, you know, if you don't have super dry lips, you know what I mean? So I haven't used this as like blush yet. I'm sure it would look pretty good, but I don't think I would just because it doesn't really set. Um, I have, this shade, Faded Clementine, I have Mochi Mochi, which is really pale. I have Magic Hour, which is like a really pretty like peachy pink. I've got Caramel Glaze. I've got, um, oh, they're just so good. I have Moroccan Sunset. I may feel like I could be making things up here. Okay, so Charlotte Tilbury released uh, or expanded her Pillow Talk line. This is the eyeliner. And while I like this shade, I don't know what it is about her formula of eyeliners, but they don't like, they're not very pigmented and they don't, how do I say it? They're pigmented initially, but then they don't layer. Like I can't do like multiple like swipes of this on my waterline without it kind of, like it just doesn't build upon itself. It doesn't lift, but it doesn't build. So, and I, she has another line of liners called, I think it's Rock and Coal. I didn't have very good luck with those either. Her lip liners are phenomenal. I love those. In fact, I have like, iconic nude kind of to like when i use that gloss and i like buff it out it <laughs> it looks a little crazy so i like take iconic nude and i kind of like rounded everything out and clean it up that way but i love this shade i just can you see it in the swatch how like it's pretty but when i went you know when you go over it it's not, it doesn't look the same, like the texture changes a little. I don't know, maybe I have to play with it more. Like I like it on the lids, like on my eye skin, but I don't like it in the waterline the way I like Urban Decay or even like the Victoria Beckham. I'm trying to think of other eyeliners that I really love that like their intensity stays. The Lancome Liquid Pencils, those are also so good. Oh, the sun just came out, can you tell? <laughs> Pillow Talk Instant Eye Palette. And when I saw this, I was like, this looks really similar to the little baby she released around the Nordstrom anniversary sale time. And then she's also since, I think, released the same set of shades and called it like Darling or Oh Darling. Do you see? There's many similar tones. Um, however, this was 49 and I believe you get 5.4 grams of product. This is 75 and you only get seven grams, which I mean, obviously if you care about value, you would get this one. I prefer the shades and the offerings in here. I can do a lot more with it. Uh, this, I end up with maybe like two or three eye looks, which I guess makes sense because, you know. Okay, so I'm not saying you can only do two or three eye looks. I'm just saying for me, based off the colors I gravitate towards, I'm limited in here. But if you did grab this, you're getting a lot more eyeshadow. To me, this is a palette I could travel with. I can create pretty much any kind of eye with it as long as I'm trying to stay in this family, which is fine. I enjoy this color family. I like the addition of this kind of like magenta fuchsia vibe here. What I have on the lids today is just two shades. It's this color, 
and then this color so you know not that interesting but still a really pretty eye it's a little flat and one-dimensional but it's kind of what i was going for today so here's full swatches of the palette that's the first set of three the second trio third trio fourth trio this is the shade all over the lid and then the lower lash line and this is what i pushed into like the waterline slash lash line of both of both of my top and what oh god it's a rough day guys so there's a closer version of the eye look it's pretty like blown out like the one shade i use all over and then you just get remnants of kind of that magenta color like here and here i did use a little more extra on the outer edge just to give it a little more like three-dimensional vibes but otherwise i still think it looks kind of like a flatter look but i really like it it's really pretty i'm kind of glad i added this lip because now it's like more pulled together <sighs> i don't know i'm like not out of breath but i'm <sighs> i should i wonder if i should just commit to the gray you know guys do you guys watch michelle wong like she just commits to her gray hair and i i want to like do that but i also love having this color i, I mean I feel like if I were to like go gray, well, maybe I could wait longer. I'm only like 25. <laughs> I'm not 25. Um, if I could commit to gray, it would be later in life. Because until, I don't know, I, I always thought I would get sick of this color. Like in my early 20s is when I started dying at this color and I thought I would get sick of it. Like, oh, I'll just change it. I haven't gotten sick of it. I like still really love it. So I guess we're just going to leave it for now. Um, Tattooed Chef Organic Acai Bowls I've already opened up the plastic Okay, so it looks like you get these little toppings I mean, that looks pretty Let's see, I mean, I don't know how long it has to thaw for Okay, so you can let it sit at room temperature for like 45 minutes or you can pop it in the microwave for 30 seconds. It's been like over an hour and mine was like quite frozen, so I put it in the microwave. I think this is good for like on the go. Um, it could use a tiny bit of say like maple syrup or honey, just a teeny tiny bit. You don't, it's like not necessary, but it would be nice. But yeah, otherwise I would like recommend this because you could even take this and blend it. You can add it to other things. You can add other things to it. So yeah, I would probably buy this again. Uh, random hauling. I have some CVS stuff to share. I don't know, it was there. I had like a 30% off coupon. So what do we have? We have Reese's Thins. This is for show. This has already been put into my candy bowl. Uh, this is like, the most perfect thing created i could do with a little bit more peanut butter but mm, they're so good the tresemme heat spray i think i paid like three dollars for this something like that is the more expensive version better for those of you guys that use heat protectant do you like the one that's like a step up slash more expensive than this one because i always just buy this one uh this lipstick there was like a coupon on the app and there was like you know my discount so i got this lipstick for like two something 268 it's a maybelline color sensational and spice for me I believe it's a cream formula oh i have like residual swatches and a cut on my hand so but that's the shade here we go really pretty yeah i love the formula of these I don't know what's going on. The camera like won't focus on me right now. I don't know if it's because it's like so bright in the front and so bright in the back, but no. Okay, literally had to turn the camera off and turn it back on. Okay, so nails. Love this color. So excited to show you. I'm not someone that buys SCOPI. Any nail polish is over like four or five dollars. That's just like not where I live. Like that's not the nail polish space I live in. But Again, there was like a coupon and a discount. So these I think retail for $9 each, which is like what for nail polish? Like, 
Poor KY. I ended up paying like $9 for both of them without like all the coupons. Yeah, something like that. So this one is called Cargo, no, Precious Cargo Go. And this one is called Desk Manny. This, you know, not super unique, but it, I think I like these kind of peachy nude shades. And I'm always trying to find one that goes really well with like my skin tone. So I haven't used this yet, but I'm excited to. And then this is what I have on the nails right now. We like it, yeah? Two coats. And it went on so beautiful. The brush is great. It's self-leveling. So OPI primer, two coats of this, and then OPI top coat. So I recommend. Not for $9. Like, But for me, it was more, I was attracted to the color. I'm always looking for a green that can be that can be used as a neutral. And this like just does it for me. Like I am I'm very here for this. I've also got these Beauty 360 premium cotton pads. So these don't have like, you know the ones that are like, the edges are sealed. Actually, I want to check and see. Are these edges sealed? I felt like they weren't. Okay, barely. They're very, very thinly sealed. Um, I can't find the ones. You know the ones that are like the Shiseido dupes? Have you guys? Anyway, I have not seen these in my store for like two months. Are they discontinuing them? I will be very disappointed. I have to check the website, but the Beauty 360 that duped the Shiseido cotton pads, I have not found in a long time. And I am down to my last bag. Okay, Amazon. I have been doing some a lot of shopping on there. This is just like a fraction of the random things I've been buying. So first I got this mug. It's that, that like kind of mug within a mug thing. It's like not a new concept. In fact, I think a lot of I've seen a lot of like Chinese tea sets that actually have like a double wall. It's just not transparent, so you don't see. But I found these, this large one. It's 16 ounces and I love it. I, coffee, I also liked getting the larger one because if you wanna have like a dessert or something, you know, it's bigger. So as you can see, like huge, like this is my head. I think, well, I don't know, do I have a big head? Love it. Usually I see ones for 12 ounces and those are fine, but this like just has that extra bit of room. I just filled it with water so I could show you, but just imagine, if it was, I don't know, Gatorade, wine, you know, that kind of thing. So love these. I've been slowly collecting straws. Do I like these? So when I saw these online, okay, so I have maybe under 20 plastic straws left in my house that I'm just gonna use up. I have now bought uh, I think just one set of metal straws, like silver ones. Then I saw these because I wanted, when I drink coffee in the morning, I used to use coffee stirrers to stir my coffee and then also like drink the coffee because, you know. But again, bad for the environment. We are switching over. So I saw these and they're gold and they're like shorter so they can fit like, you know, they're not this huge straw sticking out of your mug. But when it came, it had like these connectors, which I guess is nice. They also came in silver. I believe the silver ones were just slightly ever so more expensive, so I just got the gold ones for now. And it comes with three, this is actually so nice. Actually, we'll open it. And the connectors are silicone. I don't really know if I would ever use them like this because, you know, my sole purpose was to just actually like put it in my coffee. This is like way too big of a mug for that. <laughs> my normal mugs are I like 12 ounces, so. But you get the idea of what we're trying to do here, right? The last thing I'm gonna share from Amazon is this Fit For It Wake Up Light Alarm Clock. I think a lot of you guys may have seen this. My experience is that it just kept popping up on Instagram, so I was like, okay, let's just see. So I looked it up and I was like, oh, 50 bucks. I'm like, I don't know about that. I'm like, not into that. I don't even need an alarm clock, you know what I mean? But then there was a deal and it was like 32. So I was like, all right, let me see. So it has LED time display, multiple alarms, Sunrise simulation, and that is the reason why I got it. So it slowly, I think based on when you set your alarm for, it slowly gets brighter in your room. So it's like a, how, what's the word here? A gradual and subtle awakening for your body. So 20 brightness settings, there's the radio, and it has a sunset simulation too. So you know, morning and evening. So I'm kind of excited to try this. Anything to like feel calmer, uh, I generally have always been someone that kind of wakes up before their alarm and the older I get, the more I literally... I've been highly dependent on melatonin lately. I used to not think 
I used to think that it didn't work, but ever since, I don't know, I want to say like a January, I started taking it. It's excellent. It's amazing. I sleep so good. And there's like no, no like dragging yourself out of bed in the morning. So I love that. So should we, can I open this? No. I like just did my nails last night, so I'm not like trying to open this up for you, but I will let you know what I think about this. We have some PR things. The first thing is Good Molecules and then Ren. So let's take a look here. From Good Molecules, we have the Pure Cold Press Rosehip Oil. Oh, okay, so I am always down for rosehip oil. I think, you know, I remember back in the day when like argan oil was like the big thing. I feel like I really tried to do that. I, I didn't mind it on my hair, but I, my face was kind of like whatever about it. It wasn't like wow, but it didn't do anything detrimental. So I'm excited for this. Thank you, Good Molecules. Next from Ren, this box color is so pretty. Love it. Okay, I haven't opened anything yet. So let's see, what do we have? The Perfect Canvas Clean Jelly Oil Cleanser. I actually saw this on Trend Mood. Was it in like one of her boxes? I think so. All right, so if they would have sent me something like this, I don't know, last year at this time, I would have been like, no, not interested. But since, I don't know, has it been six months, maybe more? I've been into like cleansing balms, right? So the idea of this isn't like horrible to me. Clean Jelly Oil Cleanser. So gently massage a small amount for a few minutes over a dry face and closed eyes. Add warm water to emulsify and rinse thoroughly. Use with a damp sponge or muslin cloth. Ooh, if you guys have not tried muslin cloths, I highly recommend. I feel so bad for not sharing this with you, but I've been using muslin cloths for about like two years now and they are so good. Ooh, they like gently exfoliate excuse me and like if you apply more pressure you can like really exfoliate really really well and it's great with oils and cleansing balms so i'm excited for this and again this color is so pretty what else is in here a cute little box that says ren clean skincare is it like is it a muslin cloth that'd be so great oh i will put this together are you seeing this Metal straws, what were we just talking about? So these are kind of like a rose gold, like a darker rose gold. It comes with a cleaner, so I guess we'll, whatever. There's a curved one, which is great. We have a regular one. And <laughs> kind of like a boba straw, like a big one. How exciting. Thank you, Ren, that is so fun. I'm very excited about these straws. <laughs> and, the, and the cleanser. <laughs> okay, that's it for now. As a preview, not preview, whatever. So today is Friday. It is, it might be like 8.39. And why am I home? Because I took the day off. I know, I like really don't do this. So I am doing a staycation. I've booked a hotel on the other side of town. Like, you know, the bougie area where I can like do a lot of fun shopping, good shopping, eat fun food. Uh, I don't know, maybe we'll stay in the whole time and just order delivery or maybe we'll be out and about. I don't know, I am taking a relaxing weekend. My birthday was yesterday and I was just trying to think of what I wanted to do and I decided on this and I'll explain later in the future video. So it'll be like about a two and a half day to three day staycation. My goal is to vlog each day and then do a video for each one. So I'm really excited for it because I love vlogging and when I don't get to like put up a video, I'm like pretty disappointed. I'm as disappointed as you might be um, because I, I love, it's like so fun for me to share things. So uh, yes, yeah, so that is coming up and uh, I will see you in the next video. So awkward. I will see you in the next video. Was that good? I don't know. So awkward. Okay, so I will see you in the next video. Bye. So awkward.